All right, I adjusted the camera for this video so that people can see Bear, just in case they don't care what I'm talking about. Uh, that's fine. That doesn't bother me at all. If people come back for the cats, they come back for the cats. And from what I've I've heard from, from some male viewers of the channel, they're like, Hey, Shannon, thanks for having the cats in there, because then my wife, my girlfriend, doesn't mind me watching videos, because they can go, Hey, cat! Uh, and the interesting thing is, we've got four cats in this house, and she's the shy one. She's the one that if people come over to our house, she disappears. Uh, she will hide in any of these drawers, any of the drawers over there, she will not come out. So ironically, the cat that features most prominently on my channel is the one that nobody who comes over here knows I have. Uh, the other three cats, well, Shadow's not entirely friendly, but he's not as scared as she is. Anyways, let's talk jerseys. Now, the jersey that I'm wearing, this beautiful Robo Penguin third jersey, I got from a subscriber. And I get asked, well, where do you get your jerseys? Well, there are jerseys I have that subscribers have sent me, which are awesome. And they're usually the ones I can't find. And I will do a video soon on ones that uh, either I can't find or they're just... But just, just the, the Holy Grail type jerseys that I don't have added to my collection yet. Um, now, where I get them varies. Now, Cool Hockey I'll mention first because right now... They have this, it's kind of a fun idea, and I'm, I'm tempted to do it, even though I don't think there's anything they have that's not in my collection. It's a mystery box, so you pay, it's $90 Canadian, I'm pretty sure it's cheaper if you're on the American side of the border. It's 90 bucks, and they send you a random jersey. It could be any size, any team. It's basically, it's the clearance jerseys, and there's a chance, there's a one in three chance that you will get a $200 Reebok Edge jersey. So you might get a, a Phil Kessel Toronto Maple Leafs jersey, or you might get a really nice Reebok Edge Atlanta Thrashers jersey, which is the one that's got my ears perked up and going, I wouldn't mind an Atlanta Thrashers if it's if it's the white one, even if it's the red one with the bird. Like I have the blue one in a in an authentic Adidas but uh, or Reebok. Uh, but it would be nice to have another one. That would be fantastic. So uh, it, I'm tempted, but I haven't done it yet. Uh, they they went through 90 of them pretty quick. So they did they did a, a box of 90, and they sold out really quickly. So now they've got another 90 up. I would imagine they've got a whole bunch, uh, uh, basically in 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 the back, a whole bunch of ones they didn't they weren't able to sell before. The jerseys you can't sell now. Just put them aside. People will be clamoring for them later because they sell out everywhere else. Ice jerseys. Ice jerseys has had numerous sales throughout the playoffs that I have been taking advantage of. Uh, they had a buy two, get one free sale that I went, ah, because I, I couldn't come up with three different jerseys that I needed or wanted. I, I just I wasn't able to do it. But they've had a couple of sales that I've been, uh, flash sales are big. And the best time to buy jerseys is during the playoffs and during the postseason, because that's really when they're trying to get their stock out for the next year, for the, the new stocks coming in, so they're trying to move everything out. Now, the one that I've promoted a ton, of course, is Ben H Sports. That's the name of his uh, his, his his listings on eBay. Uh, if you look up hockey jerseys on eBay, he will come up regularly. Um, it's been over a year now that he and I have, since, since he and I struck up a conversation, the first time I ordered from him and he saw who I was and he goes, oh, you've got a hockey channel and... And then I did a video where I did an unboxing of jerseys from him, and he said, "Okay, you've you've got some reach." And so we've worked together since then. Uh, the best way to, to to deal with him, look through his eBay listings. There's a ton of them. He has, I think, 632 different listings, and he lists them by size. So it's not just you have to go in and click on the jersey, click on the size. Oh, they don't have my size. Uh, there are certain eBay users that do that, and I I get why, but it's really frustrating. Um, so I, I look through his listings and either I just send him the listing and go, I'm interested in this one, or I just send him what it is. If I think I probably knows what I'm talking about, but I, I try to make it as easy as possible by sending the actual listing. Like this is the one I'm interested in this month. And then there's, there's a deal that people get through the channel, uh, by emailing him directly because then he doesn't have to pay the eBay fees on top of it. And eBay fees have gone up, gone up over the years from where they were. So, um, a lot of the jerseys I have, and when I do a countdown, and I'll be talking about not just here's where this jersey is on the countdown, I will discuss who I got it from. So, um, I, I think the key thing here for me is, um, 
I, I know jerseys are really expensive. And I have avoided paying full price as much as possible. Uh, full moon jerseys is a good one. If you're looking to... If you're looking to just have, like, you know, I have this large collection. If you're saying, you know, I'd, I'd like to have jerseys. I don't really care if the, the player's currently with the team. I don't really care if it's the jersey the team currently wears. I don't care if it's an Adidas. I like the Reebok Premiers better. Full Moon Jerseys is the place for you. They have thousands of listings. They Last time I looked, they had 1,700 NHL listings. Um, and they have them for a lot of a lot of different players who, again, once they've been traded... Full Moon Jerseys gets them on discount and then passes that on to its customers. Um, I have uh, talked to the person who who runs Full Moon Jerseys a couple of times. Uh, we've exchanged emails other times as well, and he has given subscribers deals um, through promo codes in the past. So uh, it, it, it helps because the only reason that he called me is because subscribers to the channel um actually message them when they would buy and say i'm here because the hockey guy brought me here so you're able to get a discount later like free shipping was the last one uh because when people buy from full moon jerseys they they throw my name out there uh jersey baron now if you like if you like high end jerseys if you're like i want game issued jerseys these guys seem to be the ones but the one drawback I've seen with Jersey Baron is customizing. So if you're buying jerseys from them, from what I understand, uh, buy it from them. The customizing you get done from somebody else. Now, if you want a name and number on a jersey, from what I've heard, Cool Hockey is the best place to go through. Uh, they, they, they do a custom job. It's not pre-screened or pre-done the way that a lot of the NHL ones are. A lot of the Adidas you get, and even the ones I've got through Fanatics, and we'll get to Fanatics. I'll get there. Um, I've been really surprised at how cheap the number and name are on the jersey. I've been really taken aback by it uh, that, that directly from the NHL. I'm talking on the Adidas ones that they say are authentic. Um, really, really taken aback on how cheaply they're done. Now, my, my Boston Ray Bork, uh, which uh, Cool Hockey gave to Ben H. Ben H has a deal with these guys, so he deals directly with them. Um... Obviously, they sell to them. They don't just give them. Here, here you go, Ben. You seem like a nice guy. Uh, that's not that's not the way that works. That's not how business works. That's that's why businesses go under. And I'll get to the business that went under and ruined my life recently. Uh, so, if you need customization on a jersey, I would suggest going through these guys. The one thing is, they don't use Canada Post. So, if you have a post office box, don't go through Cool Hockey or you're going to end up in hell. Because I know I did. Uh, if it's delivering straight to your house, cool hockey. Um, so, so Jersey Baron, uh, really good high-end jerseys. Don't get them to customize is what I've heard online. Uh, Sports K is one that I discovered recently, and that's just sportsk.com. Um, now they have a lot of the throwback jerseys. The one thing that I would caution, because the site doesn't tell you, is that their prices are in American. So if you're Canadian and you look and you go, wow, that jersey is only 112 it's 112 American. Keep that in mind. That being said, I have used Sports K uh, over the last six months to get a lot of old jerseys. I can't find anywhere else. And even though it's American and it's over 100 bucks, it's cheaper than I've been able to find them elsewhere. And it's it's co comparable to used jerseys. They are brand new through Sports K. They're in pretty good, pretty good shape. Uh, I, I shouldn't say pretty good. They're in excellent shape. And uh, they're... They're just, they're good jerseys. Uh, the one thing when you're ordering older jerseys online, I'm going to say this for your friends because you might get really excited at getting a new jersey and just throw it on. Wash it. Wash it first. Please. Because um, I know I've done it. I've done it where I get a new jersey. I'm like, oh, this is awesome. And I put it on and I go and I go over and I hug my wife and I go, oh, I love this shirt. And she's like, give me the shirt. What are you talking? Give me the shirt. But uh, it's, it's, it's brand new. Give me the shirt, and then she just throws it straight in the wash. She actually took a jersey from me at one point that I hadn't even put on yet because she knew I was going to and ran to throw it in the wash and turned the wash on so I couldn't pull it out. Um, so, yeah, that's that's one thing I will say when you're buying, especially an older jersey that you go, oh, this is on clearance. Wash that sucker when you get it. I'm saying it for your friends and family. Uh, sport check. Now, sport check, of course, on the Canadian side of the border, um, 
they have sales. You have to be careful though, and 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 vigilant because they don't really advertise when there's when they have sales on NHL jerseys. I used to have a sport check uh, on the walk home from my old job, and I would go in weekly. Jerseys, jerseys not on sale. Out. Jerseys, jerseys not on sale. Out. And then I would go in one day and I'd go, huzzah, they are on sale. And there wouldn't be anything at the door to tell me NHL jerseys were on sale. There wasn't anything on TV to tell me they had them on sale. Uh, the other drawback with Sport Check now is that they only, at least locally here, they're not stocking jerseys for teams other than Toronto, Montreal, Vancouver. They they seem to have stopped stocking jerseys for every team. And Sport Check used to stock jerseys for about half. You know what? There's one other one I've got to throw on here. When I mentioned all the jerseys in the in the league, uh, pro hockey life. So, sport check I would go through for for sales only. Uh, full price, you're not saving anything, and you don't really get points. Uh, back when they had the scene points, when the scene card was tied to sport check, I loved that. I buy a jersey, I get a free movie. That was great. That's no longer the case. Uh, pro hockey life has all 31 teams. I've, I've read online about people having problems with orders from them, where they order something and either doesn't arrive or it's late or it's blah, blah, blah. I've ordered stuff from Pro Hockey Life five or six times now, uh, and, and they have a lot of hockey memorabilia stuff. So like the, the Boston Bruins picture that's right behind this board here, this this Boston Bruins picture right here, it's, it's, I'm not moving the jerseys just for the picture, but it's, it's the TD Garden. I got that on their site for 40 bucks. So, you know, when it's mounted and everything, it's it's fantastic. Um, I have used them for jerseys. They do have jersey sales. They have Reeboks on sale all the time. Reeboks, and Ben will tell you this, can't give away Reeboks these days. But, uh, you know, the jerseys you can't give away now, later on, everybody wants them. For instance, I think this is a starter, isn't it? I think this is a starter. It's either a starter or a coho. Either way, jerseys from this era... Nobody wanted them as recently as I would say 10 years ago, and now I love them. And now I, I even see people going, oh, I love Starter. And it's like, I don't think, or, were you around back, because back then? Uh, is that a Starter jacket, you idiot? Uh, but yeah, Pro Hockey Life, uh, they have all 31 teams, and that's, that's a benefit because not every site, not everybody does, and they're current. So if you're looking for current, and if you're, they have regular sales, not just on jerseys, but on hockey equipment. They, and if you find a pro hockey life store, for me, it's like Christmas when I go in there. It's just, it's, it's fantastic. I just walk in and it's like, oh, I'm home. This is great. Um, so yeah, I, I do recommend them, but it, you know, again, I, I wait for sales. I wait until I see, you know, 50% off teams that have been eliminated from the playoffs score. Um, and it reminds me of, there was a time when, you know, I had, I don't know, 60 or 70 jerseys, and three of them were Maple Leafs. And I remember a Maple Leafs fan go saying to me, saying, you're not a Maple Leafs fan. Why do you have so many jerseys? And I said, well, they're always out of the playoffs, so they're always cheap. Um, he didn't like that answer. But it was true. It was that I would walk into a store, and all the jerseys were 120 and the Leafs one was 25 And I'm like, 25 bucks? All right, I'll take that. But you don't like Toronto. No, that's fine. Toronto sucks. They suck now. They won't suck later. And then, you know, that's the way. <laughs> that's the thing. Teams always manage to to make that rebound. Um, I believe in you, Buffalo. Uh, yeah. So pro hockey life now. Lids, lids is a problem. Lids is a massive problem. Uh, lids changed ownership. Uh, Fanatics bought them out. Uh, lids site is crap. Uh, they don't. The last I saw, they didn't have Major League Baseball hats on the Canadian site. Uh, there were a lot of complaints. And whoever was running the Facebook page kept making the, uh, I, th I think I think it's the wrong advice, of just go to the store. And when people answer with, there isn't a store that's close to me, there wasn't another answer. So I don't think, uh, at a time where people are shopping more online and brick and mortar is kind of going by the wayside for a lot of businesses, for a company to say, we don't have it online, go buy it in the store. Seems like they're going backwards while others are going forward. And I would be very surprised if Lids hasn't lost a major market share. Now, Lids was a problem before they got sold. They were losing money, and I got why. I have a stack of eight pucks in this room. And I only ordered those pucks 
for the puck holders because I got eight pucks for five dollars. Yeah. So when I did that, uh, and there were there was there was times where I got four hats and I paid like eight bucks for them because they had a point system that just it was really easy to get points and it was really easy to figure out a way to manipulate those points so you got something for less money than it cost them to ship it. So when when Fanatics bought them, I went, yeah, you're gonna go out of business with that kind of business model. Uh, Fanatics has made it so that the the point system just doesn't work. So uh, it it just doesn't. Uh, I still buy in store. Uh, I've bought hats as recently as as last week from Lids. Uh, I found two that I wanted. Um, uh, one one sadly uh, already has received some damage to it, uh, uh, which which made me very sad, and it has has kind of warded me off of just enough of the white hats. White hats get destroyed way too easy. Yvonne still thinks she can she still thinks she can fix it, and if she does, it will be featured in a video. Uh, with me wearing it, but uh, it, I don't have any faith in that. Um, but I still, the fact that Lids and Fanatics are tied together brings me to Fanatics. I don't like the Fanatics site. I don't like it. The other thing with Lids, Lids it used to be if you shopped and you spent more than $35, you got free shipping. That then changed to $45. With Lids.ca, now it doesn't matter how much you're buying, you're paying shipping and handling. And last night I was, I was trying to, you know, I was messing around with it. I was like, all right, so I'm going to put this much in my cart. Let's see. Holy crap, they still want $25 for shipping. There's absolutely, they're just, they're, they're killing the Canadian market. And on the American side, it's $3 for shipping. So they're only shipping out of the U.S. then? That certainly seems to be the case. And I understand, and this is something too that I will say, and it happens with full moon jerseys. If I pay to get it shipped to uh, my Canadian address... It costs me about 25 bucks for shipping. If I pay to ship it to uh, the the American post office box we have, it's like six dollars. Uh, import fees are, are 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 big. I have worried with the the trade wars that are going on right now, with all tariffs that get slapped on back and forth, that the materials used to make jerseys would get hit, and we would see a large spike in in prices or shipping and handling. I haven't seen that yet. Um, but jerseys are expensive and I get it. Uh, two other things that I want to mention here, smaller eBay sellers, just be careful. Uh, I made that mistake. I have three fakes in my collection. Um, I'm not happy about it. They're not in this room. I do not wear them. I keep them as a reminder, Shannon, do your homework. Um, because in, in, in each case, I should have seen through it. I should have absolutely seen through, uh, in, in one case, it was just I found the Nashville jersey I had been dying to get, which was the blue one with the checkerboard around the bottom. I didn't do enough research, and, and I could see that it was fake. Uh, when you're looking on eBay, you're looking for, A, uh, the rating of the seller. If they don't have one, don't buy from them. Um, also, um, you always read the feedback, because sometimes I feel like some of these eBay sellers get their friends or set up dummy accounts so they get good ratings right out of the gate uh, and and look at the pictures um, just just look at the pictures sometimes it's really obvious if if they take a picture in front of a window and you can't really see the jersey you're like boy the sun's shining directly I can't see any it's a fake it's either a fake or it's in such trash condition they don't want to take a good picture um, and this is where the reputable sites will give you a lot of pictures of what they're selling uh ben gives you 10 10 pictures for each jersey he's selling um and and worthy of note just throwing this out there bench clears bench clears if if you've got instagram and you've ever bought a jersey i'm guessing you get ads for them um they they've started manufacturing tank top jerseys so hockey jersey tank tops um i'm apparently going to be getting one and then I'll talk to you, find people about it when I get it. Uh, it's an interesting idea. And it's it's a great idea for people who live in the desert, for people who live in southern locations, or just people who want to go out in, in the summer and, and you're like, yeah, I want to wear a jersey, but I don't want to be rolling up my sleeves all the time. So I'll, I'll see how it works for me. Um, you know, I, I obviously don't wear tank tops. I used to. I used to wear, uh, I, well, I call them muscle shirts. Um, I used to wear muscle shirts all the time, which was ironic because I didn't have any. But uh, 
they were comfortable and, and, you know, during 35, 40 degrees Celsius weather, it was nice to have them handy. Uh, so, you know, I, I can't give you guys an opinion one way or the other. I've heard good things. I've heard positive things, but uh, we'll see how positive they are um, once I uh, uh, receive merchandise and, and take a look at it. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, so there you go. About 20 minutes of me discussing where I get jerseys from. And, and I will say this, and I know there's people who say, just buy fakes, buy counterfeits. The counterfeits cost you 45 50 60 bucks. Okay. You can get jerseys from these guys. You go through all these listings and all these places. You can get jerseys for similar prices and not get one that's going to be crap and fall apart. Not get one that's going to look bad. And, and I know there's people who say, well, I don't want to support Gary Bettman. You don't. You go through You go through most of these places. You're not directly supporting the National Hockey League on resellers. And, and, and even if you are, like, it's just, I, I don't understand. I don't understand supporting the league through buying tickets. Especially when somebody says, well, I don't want to support the league uh, by buying a jersey for $200. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to support the league on that. I can go to a game then and get uh, get get uh, hot dog, get mustard spilled all over it. And I'm thinking, okay, so you'll spend 150 bucks for your ticket, but you won't spend 75 bucks for a decent jersey. Okay, because still supporting the league by by watching hockey, by going to hockey games, buying pucks, anything that you do, buying books, anything that has the National Hockey League logo on it. You're supporting it. So uh, I, I don't really care about or worry about any of that. And uh, again, the jerseys you see in my collection, I haven't paid anywhere near as much as people think I have. And um, I, I always look for deals. Uh, and and I've, I've reached the point where I basically finished getting anything that I needed to, to fill holes in the collection. And now it's just a matter of, okay, these are the ones that I've, I've been looking for for years, trying to zero in on a couple of those. And, of course, there will be new thirds, alts, and the Blackhawks and the Canucks are talking about changes next year. The Hawks is just going to be a neck change. It's not going to be anything big. They're never going to change that logo. And uh, the, the Canucks, uh, it looks like it's going to be a, some sort of a, a larger change, but depends who you ask. All right, there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And before people ask, DH Gate sells Chinese knockoffs. I do not promote, would never buy from, and I don't. And I know people say, well, they're really good Chinese knockoffs. Yes, but they're, they're still knockoffs. And I'll, I'll buy for the real deal when I can get, especially Reeboks, you can get them for 40 bucks right now. So I might as well just get a Reebok Premier if it's something I need for $40. Or at one point, uh, um... Pro Hockey Life had them for twenty nine ninety nine, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll pay twenty nine ninety nine for a jersey I need, rather than pay sixty for the Chinese knockoff because that just makes more sense. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video, and I'll talk to you again soon.